The efforts to recall Pamela Price were launched just months into her time as district attorney. It is no understatement to say that this could go down as her most significant prosecution in the eyes of the voting public. Here's what she had to say at a press conference Wednesday night. I will leverage the full weight of my office against these people who we believe ruthlessly and wantonly murdered an officer of the law who gave his life to protect our community against those who would do harm to us. Let's bring in Kelsey Thord with more on how this prosecution and this case is likely to unfold. So you were saying a lot of people say that they feel like the DA is saying the right things, but they want to make sure that her actions match her words. Yeah, I mean, we've been reporting on this since this incident happened, and it's very clear that people have a lot of strong emotions in this case. This is a case that, as I said, has a lot of eyes on it. Many people in the community are looking for the DA's office to charge these suspects to the maximum extent of the law. Law. But some have concerns that they may not or that may not happen given D.A. Price's history of downgrading charges for some suspects involved in violent crimes. Now, in this case, the D.A. has said she will seek a sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole for the men charged with Officer Lay's murder. We spoke with two legal experts about their thoughts on the case and how the D.A.'s office and the city are handling it so far. Stephen Clark is a legal analyst based in San Jose. He told me he thinks the DA is prosecuting this case very aggressively from the start, but he believes charges could be added or dropped along the way as evidence is introduced. He says whatever way it goes, he believes the case could have long-term impacts on the public officials involved. Because the community has got a recall going, and you're now looking at a situation where people are demanding that this case be treated to the highest extent in the law. And I think it's a challenge for the Price administration because they have taken policy positions that are un unpopular with respect to these sentencing enhancements. And I think now that test is going to be played out in court. I also spoke with Professor Rory Little from UC Law San Francisco. He had a very tempered opinion on the impact this case could potentially have. He cautioned anyone from jumping into conclusions on the charges filed so far in this case, given that it's just so early in the process and we don't even know the extent of the evidence prosecutors have. Now, he agreed that the DA's office and the police department seem to have worked hard to arrest these suspects quickly and to prosecute them to the fullest. But he he doesn't believe people should put so much weight on any one case. It certainly will be used to judge how the DA's office does, uh, but there are unfortunately violent crimes and, and murders uh, throughout the Bay Area on a weekly basis, if not a daily basis. Uh, and this case will not be the only case that is used to judge this DA or any DA, and, and it shouldn't be. You know, I think the challenge here is that justice really should not be about politics, but that's also where we are, and that's going to be the lens through which this case is likely viewed by the public. Yeah, and that's true. You know, that is something going into this case. Everybody is watching this. Everybody has opinion on what should or should not happen, but it is a murder case involving a police officer, and the DA can only do whatever the law says she's allowed to do, but there are a ton of emotions involved in this. And what the evidence supports. Kelsey, thank you so much.